This is the ultimate Soviet guide where you can get 450 factories by the time Barbarossa starts and you're not gonna lose a single core while trading 1 to 20 against the Axis. The ultimate Soviet Union of insert current year. Wait, that's not the Soviet Union. We are going to start off with converting exactly 12 factories into civilian factories, which means every factory except for one in Moskva and all in St. Leningrad Bird. And then we are going to go for basic research. Let's do some something like this because we're gonna lose a lot of factories i still want a few on guns just stack up the entire army we are going to dismiss the entire air force and i'm also gonna send all the boats over to leningrad just shift click all of these icons and then control right click into leningrad same thing with the air wings just shift click and then dismiss them then we can already start with some heavy industry one thing i will also do i'm gonna convert these guys into Strelkovaya. Also going to take a look at the international market. If you do have it, it's a nice little buff. If you don't, it's not a big deal. We're gonna click everything once here. All the planes can go on high. The rest we're gonna keep on medium. All accept market requests. We can only sell to Tanatuva in Mongolia right now. Soon we can also sell to other people. We are also going to build a lot of civilian factories and we obviously prioritize high infrastructure states. We are going to go with the path of Marxism Leninism. Now that the navy is stacked in Leningrad, we drag over the boats and press G to stack them. We are just gonna select this and then click on creating a new task force, click on all submarines, select the submarines and split them off to a different admiral. Then we put the submarines on the sea wolf, Kasatanov, and the rest we can just... I guess we're gonna get the bald guy. And then we can just shift left click both of these for training until our level 3. I don't plan on using the navy but you know, we have the dockyards, so who the fuck cares? <laughs> it's useless. One thing that's not useless is addressing internal affairs. Turkey, we are just gonna contest, get ourselves some nice free war support. I mean, 5% free war support. And Stalin is starting to get a little bit crazy, but that's fine. We're gonna deal with that. By appointing new Soviet women, we're also going to expand the Agitprop. We are also going to go with concentrated industry. We do have a lot of time to build up. Before, this person used to be better, but now with all of the production efficiency buffs, the MIOs give, concentrated can give you a fuck ton of stuff. Which also means for all of these, we're gonna focus on getting the production efficiency stuff first. And then later on, we're gonna get stats. If you plan on building medium tanks, then the Astaroth Design Bureau, obviously for your medium tanks, fast tanks, I wouldn't really bother with it. Same thing with the Kirov tank designer. As for infantry and tank refurbishment, the infantry tank designer is much better. Like you get a lot more production efficiency buffs for your flame tanks. The tank refurbishment plant, I would use it if if you want to get a little bit more funds into your MIOs for your support equipment. But realistically, you can also just build support equipment at that point and give your trains more soft attack. We can just click these buttons. I kind of forgot about that. It doesn't really matter. We are Russia, it's a navy. I'm just gonna finish these few submarines, but realistically, we're never gonna use them. Now we can also start forging some satisfactory production reports. And with that, we can finally say hello to Stalin, join him in the center. We we're gonna improve relations with the real Spain. And I waited 30 days so we can pump the 30 days into construction too. We should be able to, yeah, we go. We can send an attaché, which gives us 10% war support, which allows us to get war economy in 1936 without going to war. I will also do the high yield now. One thing we can also do, we can support the Spanish a little bit. If you wanted to, you could have kept your planes here, your fighters. I'm not gonna use them either way. I'm not really interested in Spain surviving or dying. I'm just here for the army XP. We're gonna draw a front line here. We're gonna take Vasily as a field marshal. Tchaikovsky will get suicided and the rest are defensive generals. And then we can also get Vlasov. You're gonna get offensive doctrine. Right, then we are just gonna continue with Terrorist Center. Next we do the focus, secure the administration. I don't really care what happens here. For all I care, these guys can also die. Doesn't cost us anything to do this. Almost anything. Then again, like, we have 1.3 million manpower at this point. Things will not bother us. We're just gonna continue building in high infrastructure states. With that, we can now also switch to free trade, which gives us more construction speed, more research speed. We can also prioritize the mountaineers so that they actually get some over here in 
against Spain and they're not fighting with sticks. Next thing, we're just gonna continue down with the political tree with socialism in one country. National Spain. I feel like you should worry about something else than the attache right now. With that, we can also get the infrastructure effort and I'm going to justify on Finland because if you know about history, or rather, if you know about history according to Paradox Interactive, there's a certain little thing that's called the continuation of the Winter War that can happen even if there is no Winter War. If I prevent Finland from existing, then the continuation of the Winter War cannot continue. I'm just gonna select the horses and uh, let's say we're going to go to Helsinki. You guys go over here, we draw arrow. I select the field marshal, front line and then shift left click so that we have a connected front line instead of if we didn't do this, we would have all of these guys split up and then you know for example this guy is here and all of his divisions will be here and if we do it otherwise then they can shuffle around properly so it's just more efficient as well as prettier you can move that why can't you move the mio thing sure thank you paradox I not sure what the benefit of this for me is. It's cool, I guess. As for this, we're just gonna take the small aircraft designer. That one is the best one. We can get the naval aircraft if we wanted to invade the Allies or Japan, I guess. And heavy aircraft, strat bombers. I, I guess this one is good. All right, in the meantime, we can keep on looking into Spain. And because we're getting attacked the entire time, I'm honestly just gonna hold here, grind these guys up and get some more army XP, which also means we can get officer core and bolt attack. Correct activation process. I'm just gonna excavate a little bit as well. Since we are playing on pretty much historical, I didn't attack Turkey and got Romania for free, which is a strat that I really like because you just cock Germany out of all of the Romanian oil you get turkey you get all of their industry and all that this should be a historical guide for somebody who's like okay i'm struggling a little bit with the soviet union germany's just overrunning me i don't know what i'm doing wrong so we're just gonna stay on historical which means we're not gonna shoot chiang kai shek even though i do like to do it Please subscribe to this channel, the CCP took my goldfish hostage. Right, conspiracy in the academy, bit of a bummer. Who cares, it's navy. <laughs> okay, let's get infantry tech as well as radio tech. Oh god, that's what I get for not actually looking at anything here. Okay, there we go. We can now seize the gold reserves. Sadly, we cannot dismiss these guys and we can't recall our volunteers, but so be it. Once this factory is done, there we go. We have 100 factories, we can finish the five year plan as well as continue building in states if you do it properly you can get like 300 army xp more than i did but i'll just pretend that you played this and you're a beginner and you fucked up yes th th this is what uh, th that was my reasoning behind doing this god i'm so good anyway it's time to accomplish a high yield and forge satisfactory reports and i guess we might as well get computing machines now get rt tech as well as foreign experts our next pp dump we might as well do this do this start the uh, naval offensive i just put those guys on naval invasion support and declare war on finland honestly i am just going to auto this we could micro a little bit but finland doesn't have any divisions sure microing is better but i don't really care with that we can also do the workers dictatorship as well as improve relations with the us we can get the cross pro yet Troy. Finland does offer concessions right now, but concessions are not good enough because concessions means we are gonna have another war. We also micro the horses a little bit to capitulate Finland faster. There's no other 80% province that we can build in, which does mean we are going to take a look over at Crimea. There's a few juicy states to build in. This is one thing that's a little bit annoying about this. If you want to min-max it properly, you should take a look at all the states that you have and bump those up to 80%, the ones that have the most building slots in them that you can fill. I will take all of Finland, please. Ah, I will take all your navy and I will puppet all your base and we're gonna get all the resources rights and a little bit of factories here most importantly we don't accidentally annex Petsamo because of google weser übung and i guess where finnmark is disloyalty in the nkvd that is a bummer that is a pretty big bummer actually i am gonna bring in american experts and then these charges are obviously made up might as well train these guys and then we can do military conspiracy as well as getting the nkvd too because we already have the nkvd but i guess i still have to found it i'm not sure how that works but 
but we're talking about Stalin here, so it all makes sense. It's quite a bit of ahead of time, but I think I'm just gonna get construction free. And then we're gonna behead the snake. We have the snake, which means we can get Mercader. And that guy is really good at doing Spanish stuff. So I'm gonna send him over to Mexico. And then we can also do Eastern Development as well as the specialization in the civilian industry, which gives us 15% consumer goods. And then we can do a subtle assassination, which is very cheap. It doesn't cost us anything. I am also gonna get Timoshenko already. And we're gonna get our fourth research slot, as well as 1% research speed for Finland, as well as us, I guess. Damn, Stalin is very trigger happy today. Because everybody is disloyal today. I'm also gonna improve relations with Germany, because Germany really likes to buy tanks, even though they are absolutely useless. And then we can also finish the block of rights and Trotskyites, as well as get the excavation one research boost. I'm gonna get engineer twos now, which will allow us to build some proper flame tanks. And there we go. Stalin is no longer insane. We can do third five year plan. Oh, we might as well get the non aggression pact with China and Xinjiang, which will increase relations and all that. And we're immediately gonna continue with the reorganization of the PC of heavy industry. Oh God, I just realized I did go a little bit too much into civilian fact. It's already 1939. It is not that big of a deal. But you know, I'm just... I, I, it, it's a showcase game, you know? I'm playing sloppily on purpose. Yes, I am. Mid-1938, end of 1938, you should start building mill factories. Japanese provocation at our border. Ah, fuck. I remember. There we go. Just get these guys over here. Might as well turn you into the proper Stratkovia. And then we can get the air reformer. And immediately we're going to accomplish another high yield just to stay as close to zero percent, I mean, 10 percent consumer goods as possible. And then we can also do the rest of this stuff. Gives us more consumer goods or fewer consumer goods, however you want to look at it. And for the first time in a while, we can assign some more building slots. I mean, what is it called? Military factory, right? Military factories. Actually, a bit of a problem now. Okay, I, I have to take a look now. There's some some good states to build. There we go. That should be good enough for now. Sweden wants army, navy, and air XP. All right, uh, we're gonna get the naval reform as well as operational reserves, as well as superior firepower, as well as we can design a flame tank. Just make it as cheap as possible. Flame tank, stats don't matter. Just put doser blades on it. Make sure it's a flame tank, which I usually forget. And if you want to be fancy, you can also put fuel drums on it. But I'm not gonna do it now. Did I assign Okmo? I did not. There we go. And then I'm gonna use the NKVD division as a base. RT on it. Engineers on it. AA on it. Flame tanks on it. I'm also gonna exercise these, turn all of you into the NKVD divisions, put one RT on it for 15 width, and then sell Sweden 20 RXP and 16 Navy XP. Might as well put the German into Berlin, which is gonna continue down socialist emulation. I'm gonna go with concentrated and construction for. This does not feel good. I've had to build way too many roads. Okay, let's get radar as well as survivability studies. And I'm not gonna bump the infantry equipment simply because that's way too expensive. If you are a new player, let's take a look. Infantry gun 2, infantry gun 3. 2 steel. This 3 steel. Stats, not much different. 2 steel, better. Unless you can afford it. Then, time for industrial modernization. This focus is so insanely good. Like the 10% efficiency retention and 5% cap is really good. But the 2 year ahead of time penalty and the research bonus, oh my lord. And then we can get 5% more consumer goods. Factor. Factories factor. I'm also gonna get the 1940 plane now. I might as well do aluminum twice. It's a bit early, like we would have more factories. We are using local police force as our garrison thing because liberated workers is the same thing, but better. But if you take a look, damage to garrisons plus 25%, whereas local police force has minus 50%. So you almost take three times as much damage on liberated workers. We're running out of steel, which means our convoys are not as efficient, but it's fine because we are going to get a whole 10 steel here as well as 5% factory output and I guess two civilian factories. I will also start pumping out another 100 NKVD divisions. Honestly, I'm gonna take Rokosovsky, you are field marshal now, aggressive assaulter, offensive doctrine, very good, especially for defending. I'm gonna draw a front line. If you were playing properly, you would not defend like this. I want to do a no step back thing, which should be possible to not lose a single province. Jesus, brother. 
piss off. It's honestly like, we've reached a point where factories are so useless. I will also, because you are the holding divisions, I'm going to give you some diamond hands. And I guess that's the closest thing we have to diamond hands. I guess we can also get the military theorist. If I didn't play for factories, I would start importing rubber now so we can have an air force when the war starts. But uh, we are interested in factories. So we are not going to do that. I will also build a supply up over here. Again, if you don't want to hold the entire front, like you should probably draw front. I guess here is fine. Then you have the river to defend here. But another front, like if you went back here, that would also be fine. Just along the rivers to defend. Here we don't have the supply. So I'm just going to build a supply hub. There's one here. But you yeah, know, we can get concentrated five now, as well as the heavy MGs. As for the 1940 plane, cannons are sadly very bad. So heavy MGs as it is for the 1940 plane. Once you have cannons too, they are much better than heavy mgs but cannons one because of the agility debuff are just very bad it doesn't really matter but i'm just gonna stack these guys up over here and we can do convoy raiding with the submarines and the other ones i'm just gonna put on strike force but realistically that's 23 screening ships and three capital ships that's not a navy it's not gonna do anything can also remove the military debuffs as well as use all of the roads that we built earlier right these guys i'm just gonna deploy plonk them down get them under a different field marshal anything but defensive ones <laughs> Really? That's my only requirement. And for these, I don't really care. I'm just gonna assign whoever. Then I'm gonna send you on a defensive spree. Just so Mussolini doesn't get any funny ideas. All right, I will have to reload. Because the UI does not appear. It does appear that the UI does not appear. Fuck! What is this tutorial? What does this mean? There we go. And then with the area defense, we're just gonna disable all of these except for the naval bases, which is not good. The naval base AI is very stupid, but I'm lazy. If you want to do it properly, you should do fallback lines on every single one of these and then split the generals up, but I am way too lazy for that. That was not really anything we really need right now. We can get some more light tanks for suppression if we wanted to, or we could start building some planes but then we wouldn't have that many factories so i guess we're gonna lose a little bit of land against germany because i'm gonna greed for some factories Let's just take the interwar light tank chassis slap the heavy machine gun on it okmo and congratulations the absolute cheapest light tank that we can afford that we could even conceive but it's good enough to suppress some poles right i'm also gonna put these guys on truck truck supply and then we're gonna take a military reorganization with that we have pretty much all the things that we really oh right better aa oh, you know what let's also get extensive conscription because surely we're gonna need the manpower and with that this is all the building slots that we'll have we're not gonna get any more than these but these are plenty and i guess it is time to go down to export focus we don't really need to do it but it's okay and let's get a military engineering university first then afterwards we can go to our fifth research slot i also kind of forgot about you who wanted to put you on quiet intel and the other guy on routing and resistance in Poland would have helped a little bit with diminishing some of our losses here but it's probably fine yeah <laughs> like the IC doesn't matter and the manpower doesn't matter either I'm just gonna put there we go 62 diamond hands just in case we need some for defending somewhere and then these guys can go over here to get money we can also switch to the bestest gun now there we go let's just create a light tank garrison template that's gonna uh, diminish our losses in Poland a little bit with the additional suppression value. I'm gonna do something like this. Just pump 5 billion into trucks. Once we have 400 factories, I'm gonna stop. You could still go for more, but once we have the 400, there we go. Now I'm going to pivot into something that's actually useful, which, there we go. Let's put like three on trucks. Let's keep five on light tanks and let's prepare something nice for the Fliegsmarine something very nice if i do say so myself you might see those numbers and say well that's actually pretty bad it's fine 
It's just 26 civilian factories that are trading away. We still have another 150. What's our biggest suppliers? The Northern Urals, another 10. Let's just build a radar station over here. A few more air bases. Might as well get Air Force Department. And let's get down to limited exports just to fix the aluminum problem. I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna trade with Vichy just to give the Axis a little bit more firepower. There we go. Even without planes, they're stalling a little bit. We then remove the fallback line and replace it with a front line. I'll just hope that this doesn't completely screw us up now, but I'm gonna draw arrows with those two and all of these are gonna reshuffle, which is probably where we're gonna lose one or two tiles. Infantry specialist, I'm immediately gonna hire that guy. And it does look like, yeah, we lost one tile so far. It only cost the Germans a whole 700,000 men. All right, I'm gonna send those planes over here then. They can train for now. If they're gonna push us anyway, then we might as well do it the chill way. Ah, let's also do every hit of a hammer. More factory output. And then let's deploy those fighters as well. Train these as well. Once we have desperate measures, the front will stall. Okay, these guys are trained. Just gonna wait for those fighters and then we can actually go ahead. Fighters are ready. 1.6 thousand. Yep, there we go. That's still over three times as many German fighter cheeses. Stupid mob. Three times as many German fighters and we are just trading them away. And Germany doesn't have any rubber supply, so it's just gonna be a matter of time. There we go. The T-38. 34. And I just pump five billion in those. Anyway, a bunch of infantry experts that we get. Ooh, army offense on you. Nice. That's it. <laughs> That's the German offensive and they really don't have anything in the division. Like, look at the strength. Germany, why are you on all little serve and don't have manpower anymore? I only dealt 3 million damage to you. That's nothing. They didn't even push out of Poland. We can move the industry to the Urals, which it's an okay decision to pick. But honestly, only important if you intend to lose, which I never lose. I just cheat and reload. There we go. Let's do something like this. Just move 40 divisions away from the front. There we go. Let's just deploy another 2,000 fighters. That's the ticket. And we can also build a very effective CAS. There we go. Not really a CAS at this point anymore. It's just as air support. And then let's do something like this. We do have enough fighters at this point. Come on, do something. That can't have been it. Although that was it for the Fleeks Marine. Oh shit, I ran out of buildings, Lord. Realistically, does it matter at this point? No. So, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start building rubber plantations. Oh fuck, I thought I had these already. The aircrew service and the centralized control. That's why my fighters were performing so poorly. There we go. It's gonna be our tank division. A bit late for the party, but I also expected Germany to do more than what they did. We can build some updated flamethrower tanks just so they can keep up with our tank and they're not gonna slow them down. And then I'm gonna give uh, the brr, 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 you priority just so they get the biggest flame tank. And you know what, as always, let's also disable so that they are at least at 10 kmh. I've seen a lot of Barbarossas, but this was just sad. And that's coming from someone whose grandpa died in Stalingrad. They did 400,000 damage against us and we didn't have planes at the start of the war and we don't have tanks yet. They just ran into us. My air bases are damaged just like I am. There we go. I'm also gonna send those fighters over here and then just another 2,000 casts for this zone and then we have all of them everywhere. And then we just need somebody like Zhukov who is already busy with infantry, but that's fine. I guess the cav officer is also pretty good. Oh, you saw the tanks, huh? Somebody was getting scared here. And you know what? Let's just take out Romania first. If you want to, you can also get collaboration governments in Germany, which will just make it easier. And if you wanted to continue this game afterwards, you would have a better industry and all that. I wanted to make one big pocket here, but it looks like we'll have to make some smaller pockets. Let's expand these guys. Pin here, pin here. Because that pinning is actually doing very well, we're also gonna attack here. That is a mountain, yeah, the tanks aren't really gonna help much. There we go, a very small pocket, but even small pockets are fun, you know. Uh, allies, what are you doing? Italy joined the German Reich. Took you a while. I feel like you were in the Axis before. Why is Italy in Turkey and why is France in France? This is just messed up. All right, I'm gonna dismiss two, three of those, just so we get some tanks in our tank divisions instead of anywhere else. You know what? I'm gonna auto this 
alright, let's see if we can clean the pocket up. Send a few divisions here as reinforcements so we don't get encircled. We are also going to push over here potentially. Nice. And then I'm just gonna let the AI deal with this because I have better things to do with my time. It's already past midnight and I should be in bed. Once you turn my age, you can't uh, stay up that long anymore. Alright, I'm gonna send the tanks over here then. That's a lot of that's a lot of Germans. And I think we've also reached a point where I'm fine with doing this. Just split them up in whatever order. Can we alter this? Over the river. Yes, we can. I didn't ask for you to be here. Especially because you're in the war now. Eh. You're gonna call my allies in. Oh no, Mongolia and Tanatuva are gonna... As always, once you broke through, just walk into Bulgaria. There's nobody here anyway. Next order of business. I think we are tackling the aluminum resources of the Axis. Just wait for them to have landing bonuses. Alright, tanks, auto this please. Do you have to keep on making the front smaller with the tanks though if we do it like this? And you know what? I'm gonna push with the infantry over here so we get the pocket. That's another decent chunk of the axis. And at this point I would usually just click on the auto button. But you know what? Well, let's see how far we can take this. Can deploy another seven tank divisions. And they can join the front. That's Hungary dealt with. Time to take out the next big thread. Slovakia. And I'm honestly just going to draw a line up to Kaliningrad. And we did get Italy. We're the player. We always get Italy. Like you genuinely have to do nothing. You have to actively do nothing in order to not get Italy. Oh no, I've, I passed by Slovakia. There's not that many Germans anymore on this front. But what's a video place game without making a stupid little encirclement? Bad. Isn't that always the case? There we go. We made it. And now we draw arrow. We draw arrow. We say arrow yippee. We say arrow wahoo. Wahoo. Let's go to Lübeck. A Lübeck for Lübeck im Haveland. Yeah, we can easily make that without losing one million men. Can even get the other achievement. Oh shit, I'm in the Netherlands. Now, I could say yes to the Yalta conference, but I feel like that would be a little bit unfair considering I have 72% of all war score. This is absolutely pathetic, man. Look at this. I traded 1 to 20. All right, allies, can you please finish off Italy? I feel like that was a pretty good trade for for us 110 states and if you enjoyed this video you can also watch my ultimate france guide where we held even better when and we didn't lose a single province wow hmm. Man, you